Hello world, uh, Maria Banga here. <laughs> uh, Maria Banga, your motivational speaker, um, psychotherapist, and every other woman. And uh, yep, it's um, Saturday. It's the, I don't know if I'm going to say the start of the weekend. It's true, I have a full day today, but not so stressed up anyway. So um, I've been watching stuff and um, one word just came to my mind authenticity and um i just realized or i just kind of you know noticed that some people still struggle a lot with it and i think um that times when we each struggle with it and um i have seen different outcomes and uh, in my personal life too and uh, i really believe that there is so much healing in authenticity and um we might think that it is so difficult to be authentic but we are actually um born and we are authentic and we uh, we probably learn how to be less authentic and so it's easy for me to shed off all what i have learned and just stay the authentic child that was born because when a child is born the child doesn't know how to pretend the child doesn't know how to not cry when they're hungry or when they're wet a child is just authentic a child is just what they are and a child just says whatever they are thinking about and maybe sometimes say this child you can't lie you can't you know i think children psychologically um start learning how to lie the pathology depends on the environment and all of that but um some say by the age of two by the age of three you know four five six seven eight it, it, it depends really on that child's upbringing but when a child is born a child is authentic the child doesn't know how to lie the child is vulnerable if the child is angry hungry they cry if they are wet, they cry. Um, they don't like somebody. They don't go to this person and all of that. So authenticity is uh, what, just being real, being genuine, uh, and stuff like that, right? And uh, I was watching something again on this Derek Jans uh, saga because it is not just about the infidelity. I've just realized how this guy is displaying narcissistic tendencies and because i'm a psychotherapist and i'm, in, I'm specialized in mental health i mean i'm interested in seeing how real life it plays out that somebody is doing this you know and he keeps doing it and i just watched another video where he was kind of analyzing his own the live video he did with his wife and it happens that the guy is in his car in front of his current mistress's house because I watched another live video where they have shown three different pictures where he is doing his car chronicles in front of her house. And it's like recent, 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 until recent, like Thursday, like after he did his live video with his wife on Wednesday, Thursday, he went to his mistress's house. Man, you know, and he is doing that um whatever analysis of his own confession in the third person talking about himself like he's talking about some other person and ending up by still pitching his book and one of the books <laughs> this guy has written is called the heart of a cheating man and another one is healing without hurting each other i'm like i don't even want to read those books because you'll be like giving money to a to a dishonest man and seriously i i don't know what to say about this guy i just think that it's a good example of people praying for discernment so you don't follow somebody to the gutter just because the person holds themselves out to be a guru and all of that and that is why i love iyala so much iyala all her her life is out there and she says in the introduction to her Fix My Life segments, always she talks about her own breakdowns and la, 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 la. And then she says, I'm here to help you do your work. So she's not, she's, she, she I just watched another one this morning and she was, um, you know, working with the mom and her three daughters. And 
you know, everything and she 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 just says it and she shares her own experience and what she relates with you know being raped and this and that and stuff so she's not holding herself out to be a perfect know it all and clean you know I, I listened to a little video about the Derek himself saying how he has no um, sympathy for a man who cheats and blah, 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 blah. And around that same time, you know how those people know how to dig things. He was cheating. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm like, this guy is not being authentic at all. So he, he knew, he knew and he still knows what he is doing. Although he is feeling the hurt now, I think his wife is insisting on doing that live video. As much as it's humiliating, as much as it has just ruins him to the point where he's not sure he will recover so he might try to play the game toe the line with her but he knows there's something he can use her christianity and her you know ride or die attitude and her struggle love belief and all of those things so he knows and then he's counting maybe on his his good looks and his, you know, the money he has and stuff like that. That's not being authentic. And he is not going to heal if he continues that way. So it is for us to learn, you know, from this experience. I just try to dress like them, like her, for example, to show um, some solidarity with her. And to also say that, oh, as a sister, as a woman, uh, me are more interested in my healing, you know. So if I was in that kind of a marriage... I, I I don't know if she's going to really be able to heal staying in there, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I really think that she's doing it well to say only Jesus can save him and maybe she's going to stay there, detached from the whole thing and um, focus on her two children and the money coming in and she living her life and she might not be interested in sex or in uh, another relationship. I don't know how old she is, but as for the guy, if I'm the one, I'm off, I'm done with you. Because he even says in another video, like, he was talking about the first girl who came out to, to, to call him out, Candace. And he said, she and I were having a sexual relationship, but we're not really having sex. What is a sexual relationship without having sex? For heaven's sake. You know, I think the guy is trending now for the bad, for the wrong reasons or stuff, but he's still trending and YouTube will still be paying him. And so even me watching some of those things, I'm just helping the guy make money bet. I was watching just to keep learning. I'm a psychotherapist, so I can have other people who will come to me with issues and I'm going to draw some inspiration from him. After all, he made all of those things public. He's a public figure. He's a, he was a self-proclaimed relationship guru and everything. And men, a lot of men in America, black men, you know, they are mad at him. And you can go to YouTube, man, people have done analysis upon analysis, they're laughing, the breakfast club, oh my goodness, the guy there was having some good time, because, well, the dairy guy had also put him on the burner, put John Gray on the burner, put anybody with Smith on the burner, <laughs> look, be careful, be careful what you do when others are down, the way you treat them, and they, 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 I don't know whether it's a satisfaction or the whatever, because when it will be your turn, they will show you no pity. So the best thing is be authentic. Look, you might be embarrassed some and you might be, you might be humiliated some, but after that, you are as free as anything. And when I wrote my memoir in 2013, my unconventional loves, my hurts, my adulteries, my redemption, I didn't even feel embarrassed and all of that. I actually felt relieved that, oof, at last I've put, I've removed all of this from my chest and I've put it out there. So nobody is going to dig anything and say, oh, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. First thing. Second thing, what am I learning now from all of this and what am I doing moving forward? I don't want to mislead anybody. I don't want to hold myself out. For what I'm not, you know, I, I deliberately worked on, on myself and then made my plan moving forward. But from what I see with this dairy guy, he's just having fun. He, he, he is just looking for ways to, you know, like some somebody said, he's saving his business and not his marriage. 
So now that we know that, those who are still going to patronize him should just know that you are just helping him be make more money. But as far as his marriage is concerned, I'm not sure he's interested in that marriage. You know, hi, big sis. I'm not sure he's interested in that marriage. From what we see, from what I see, from what I have watched, from what I have heard. And well, God help them. God help them. But healing, like my big sister here said, is going to be so much work for this couple. And I want to link it to um, the Iyala thing I watch. Um, it affects the children in ways you don't know. So let me tell you about this episode I watch and why it is very important to be authentic. In this family, nobody was speaking the truth. Everybody was keeping things under the bed. Uh, and even if when one person heard, they did not tell the, their mother. And their mother did not have time for them because she too was running away from her pain. The pain of her husband abusing her. And oh, the husband abusing the son. And now the son abused the daughter. And then, oh goodness gracious. You sometimes think that things are happening. You have seen things. You have heard things. I'm like, even in America. So this woman was married to a very abusive man. And so she herself says it, that she will stay at work, work longer hours just to avoid being home. And they had five children. I think one died. Then the son also died from sickle cell anemia complications. But before the son died, this son raped his sister from the age of 11 to the age of the child, the girl was eight. He started abusing her from the age of eight and they started having sex with her maybe a year later and up to the age of 11 or so when she told her other sister, but her other sister did not tell her mother because the other sister did not like this other sister and the other sister loved the brother so much. They were best friends, as she says. So she wanted to protect her best friend. And so she left her sister to be roasted. She even knew when the sister was eight. When it started, up to when the sister was 11. The only reason why she said it out later when, when she had an argument with her brother. And then she said, yeah, but you are sleeping with Gabby. Oh my goodness. Uh, 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 things that go on in families. And this other sister, her mother was calling her a bitch, a slut, a war, and all of those things. She, projecting her own life, her own childhood onto this daughter. And because, well, this daughter was hanging out with friends and everything, but she was sleeping with girls and not with boys. But since she hung out with a lot of boys, you know, the cover-up was easy. And so her mother thought she was promised because her mother was asking her, have you started having sex? And she told her mother, yes, she was 16, listening to something. She told her mother, yes. But her mother didn't know she wasn't having sex with boys. She was having sex with girls. Why? She was raped at 15 by a relative. And she didn't tell her mother that. So rape has been flowing in that family like that. The mother herself was raped as a young girl. And then, of course, her husband was raping her because she and her husband had fallen out long ago. And she was just hanging in there for the children. A lot of women say that thing. I'm hanging in there for the children. You don't know what you're exposing those children to. It takes you away from those children. I know because before I left my marriage for one year or one year and a half, I was no more in that house. So I, I didn't have the relationship I have with my children now. That's why it's so important for me to have that relationship with my children now. And I, it's my priority. That's why having a relationship with a man right now is not my priority. I mean, I can float around with you people, but nobody is coming between me and my children now because I was away from my children emotionally for like five years. And I just don't want to waste any more time with my children. So when you stay in an abusive relationship, you are not being honest to yourself. It is not for those children because those children suffer. Those children miss you. You cannot have the time and the, the space with those children that you will have if you are whole, if you are living your truth. And those children, they tap it and they feel that is how it should be. And then, well, they grow up. The girl who was, who was raped by her brother for three years, her name is Gabrielle, Gabby. She has two children. She's 21. She has two children already, but she doesn't have a relationship with men. I don't know how she even did to have those two children at 21. 
probably went to look for love and found it. Somebody just said that because she's a beautiful girl. And bam, baby enters. And he doesn't walk out back to the house, living with her mom, second child. And her mom cannot stop working because they need the money. They had even been homeless at some point. And then nobody is talking to the other person. Everybody is just trying to smile and stuff. The other one went away from home thinking going away from home is going to solve her problems. And nope, it doesn't solve no problems. And she cannot talk to her mom because she thinks her mom is judging her. Her mom did not even know she was sleeping with girls until that episode. And, and, and then what? I mean, there's so much going on in the world nowadays. Even if my own child comes to tell me, Mama, I'm gay, what am I going to do? So the child should be free, should even be okay coming to tell me that me finding out like that years later and not being able to do anything. I will still love my child. Honestly, I would. I cannot crucify my child because my child is gay. No. As much as I might think oh, it's morally wrong and all of that, uh -uh, I will love my child. And so this mother was never, she didn't mourn her son because she was so mad at him for having raped his sister but nobody was talking about it and so for me this is all about it we, when we are not authentic with ourselves with each other so much hurt so much pain so much shame you see this Derek's wife she has so much going on inside her because, well, according to some analysis, she has posted like 15 Instagram posts in 24 hours. You know, they count, they follow up those things. And each of them is revealing something different about her. And even just the way she sat during that live and the, whether it's bonnet or it's cap, you know, somebody was trying to argue with me that I was not a bonnet. I don't care <clears throat> whatever she was wearing. And then she was wearing a black tank top like, and she was just looking like, and the way he was holding her hand. She's not the one who gave him her hand. I watched the live. He's the one who took her hand and held it so firmly like you have to come along. Even if it was your idea, you have to do it the way I think it should be done so that, you know, it was all about saving his image, his ass and stuff. Oh, my goodness. I mean, we just learn from those things, right? Me, I personally just watch those things to learn. I, I, I mean, I'm a spiritual student. I learn. I try to look beyond it. So that I can also teach other people, help other people and stuff like that. And I have, um, I was with one of my young guys yesterday who was, uh, you know, raped also by his own cousin when he was eight. So these are not things that I only read or watch on YouTube. These are things that I, I, I live, I experience with clients, you know. I'm going to meet another one today. I, I started with him last Saturday. So a lot of, a lot of money, mama, money. A lot of these things that we watch actually happen in our our lives like that, our environments, our all of this. The best thing is be authentic. I helped my son recently to process, to be authentic, to talk about something that had been going on in his life for one year. And he, he, he couldn't come to me. I don't know why. And yet we were having conversations all the time. So it is not easy. But when somebody wants to be authentic, we can encourage them. And when we realize that they are not really being authentic, they are just being, you know, Derek is putting himself out there now because somebody has exposed him, but he's trying to do damage control and still trying to promote his books in the... Pro so you need to be careful what you, who you follow what you take out of it and remember your own healing is most important if you are interested in that then you should better get praying pray for discernment pray for discernment i pray for serenity and discernment every day i pray for serenity and discernment my serenity is so important i have learned how to detach myself emotionally from a lot of things or to process it and that's what I'm teaching my son in particular, David. I think he has more, more work to do with that. And that's why it, it, it's him. But also the other ones. And to encourage them to be authentic. It doesn't matter. Money, mama. It doesn't matter. Even if um, it might be embarrassing, it might be difficult to hear, it might be painful, no problem. Tell me your truth. 
Just talk to me. Let's have the conversation. The earlier, the better. Because from this episode with Inyala, she helped them to see how covering up one thing after the other, it made it become an elephant. And then they cannot find the elephant anymore. The elephant is too big. So we will have to now start gradually, gradually. But if with each incident, we had taken it to the table, or we had talked about it in the room or wherever, then we are not going to have an elephant in our family. We are not going to have an elephant in our marriage. We are not going to have an elephant at our job site and all of those things. So please, let me encourage you people. I have a long day. I have to get going. Um, let's let's really be encouraged and, and motivated and, and inspired, you know, to live us in authentic lives. You know, be true to your own self. Be true to your loved ones. Have those conversations. If it's worth it, if the relationship is worth it for you, then be authentic in that relationship. And if it's not worth it for you, then maybe you continue living your fake life or you move away, you know. But just remember, if you're a parent, your children are watching. Your children are tapping. Your children are, uh, 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 you know, they're asking themselves, is that the best way to go about it? Is that the best way to let yourself be treated in a relationship? Is that the best way to treat a woman? Is that the best way? They pick it up. It's pathology. Whether we like it or not, DNA is DNA. is inside there. So let's be very careful. We heal and we give our children permission to heal, to be authentic. We are authentic and we teach them. And yeah, you know, the, the, that healing today and in that Iyala's episode, because when she has an episode, after that there's some follow-up. So you can read the, the feedbacks from the family members. It's, it's helped a lot of them. The Gabi has still not been able to fully forgive her brother, but she's working on it. it. It is so important. It's so important. Let's not just focus on the on the outside and what people will see and what people will say and all of that. No, that's why I am so unapologetically authentic. I'm vulnerable. I just say it as it is. I keep it real. Because it's for me. It's so important for me. I don't care what people say about it and what people, whether people like Mark, they don't like Mark, they don't like Mark. No, I like Mark. And I love the way Mark is today. I know who or oh, the kind of life I was living 10, 15 years ago. No, I don't want that for myself. And I'm impacting this young man. That is my motivation biggest for myself. And for this young man and woman, uh, this young man and woman. And then, well, there's a ripple effect. I've had conversations with my family members. Some of them have told me how much I have helped them. They will not say it live and all of that. It doesn't matter. And other people too. So I just know that I'm fulfilling my purpose. And so I continue to say this. But I'm not attacking anybody, right? So if... It, it, you don't relate with what I'm saying. There's no point coming to try to make a case on my post and trying to convince me whether it was bonnet, it was cap, and all of those things. Come on now. Life goes on. Life goes on. Okay, well, thank you so much, Big Six. Thank you, those who watch, those who are going to watch later. I just share to inspire, motivate, and encourage because that's my purpose. I'm not interested in having a big crowd on followers and monetizing channels. I, I'm not really looking at business from that angle. My business is psychotherapy, is lawyer, is all those other things. But when whatever I'm talking like this is just to add value to society, you know. So we thank God for that grace. We thank God for the data. We thank God for for the angels on my part, you know, and all of that. Okay, well, everybody have a wonderful weekend. God bless us all.